Hi kindergarten, it's Mrs. Nelson here to do a read aloud for you. Today's read aloud is called Jabari Jumps and that's kind of a fun title because we have another student in our classroom named Jabari. I love this story so much because it is about summertime and as the weather is starting to warm up, we are getting closer to that season. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front cover. On the front cover, I see a boy on a diving board and kind of a city in the background. What I notice about the city is it looks like it's made up of newspaper. Do you see that? So the illustrator took newspaper to create that city. That is so cool. And this book is by Gia Cornwall. Here's the title page, Jabari Jumps, and you can see that water. Jabari Jumps by Gia Cornwall. And you can see this little character is getting undressed. He has his swim trunks on. He's taking off the socks, getting on his goggles, and is ready to go. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished swimming lessons and passed his swim test. He was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, Jabari said. I'm not scared at all. Have you ever jumped off of a diving board? I took me a long time to want to jump off the diving board. I wasn't even, I was an adult by the time I tried it. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walk all the way out to the end of the board as big as tiny little bugs. Then they stood on the edge, they spread their arms, they bent their knees, and they sprang up, 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 and then down, 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 splash. Looks easy, Jabari said, but when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed it back. So that kind of gives us a clue that maybe he's a little nervous about it. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go, me, go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what type of special jump I'm going to do. Jabari thought and thought. So my friends, I'm a little afraid of high places like diving boards. That's why it took me so long to want to jump off of a diving board. Do you think you have the same feelings or would you be ready to jump? You also have to know how to swim. Have you taken swimming lessons before? Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a rest, said his dad. A tiny rest did sound like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. He forgot his stretches. Stretches are very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little bit scared, said his dad. Sometimes I feel a little scared. I take a deep breath and tell myself, I'm ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops those feelings of scary and it feels like a little like a surprise. Jabari loves surprises. I like that advice. So if your tummy's feeling kind of like fluttery, like butterflies are in there, you can take, take a deep breath and say, I'm ready. And maybe those feelings will turn into surprise feelings instead of scary feelings. Jabari took his deep breath. Let's take a deep breath together. And he felt it it feel from his body, from the ends of his hair right down to the tip of his toes. Jabari looked up and he began to climb up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight. He walked all the way to the end of the board. What do you think? Is he going to jump? He curled his toes around the rough edge. Wow, I like how the illustrator drew the picture this way to show Jabari at the end of the board, looking down at the pool. Does that look like a high jump? It sure does. How would you think you would be feeling? I would be nervous. But maybe if I took a breath and said I was ready, I'd be more excited. 
Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. Then he sprang up, up, off the board, flying. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Wow, that looks like so much fun. Down, down, down he went. Good thing he's a good swimmer because now he has to swim back up to the top. Whoosh, and back up. Look at his face. How do you think he's feeling? Do you think he was surprised? Do you think he had fun? I think so too. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise, surprise double black flip is next. Well, I just love that story so much because it talks about how he's building courage. Courage is being brave and being able to try something new. And I love the advice to take a breath and tell yourself that you're ready because you are ready to do anything that you want, kindergartners. You just have to believe in yourself. So thank you for listening along to this story. We are now going to do a craft to go along with it and it's going to be goggles. So I have attached two different types of goggles. You can have goggles that look like the character Jabari. So they look like this, or you can do some cat eye goggles. So that means they're kind of pointed at the end. So you get to choose what type of goggle you want. You can print it and cut it out. If you don't have a printer, you can follow the design, try to make your own design of glasses. I can't wait to see them. And they are sunglasses, but I'm gonna pretend that they are goggles. So you can use sunglasses when you sit by the side of the pool, or you can use goggles when you go underwater. So I'm thinking you can make these goggles and then you can pretend that you are at the pool like Jabari in the store. So here are my goggles. I printed them, I cut them out, and then I added a little decoration, some flowers. So check them out, guys. I'm ready to do the high dive, are you? Take a picture of you with your goggles and attach it to this classwork.